Lightwrap is the effect that takes your edits to the next level. Not only am I gonna show you how to create it completely from scratch, I'm also gonna show you how you can get my pre-built plugin completely for free. And thank you to today's sponsor, Audio. More on that later. All right, so this tutorial is gonna take you inside of Fusion, but I promise even a beginner can make this. I'm gonna go through step by step and make sure that you can create this effect for yourself. To start inside of the Fusion page, I'm gonna hit Shift Spacebar and type in Magic Mask. I need to separate my person or my subject from the background. I'm gonna take my media one in, which is my footage, and plug it into the yellow input of the magic mask. I'm gonna take my magic mask, drag it into the viewer to look at it, and you can see my cursor has turned into this eye drop. I'm gonna draw around my subject just like so, just roughly, and then I'm gonna hold Alt and drag over the other area just to make sure it's deselected. Then I'm gonna to go to the right hand side here. I'm gonna change the mode from faster to better. And then I'm going to track this forwards and reverse. I have my subject tracked. I'm gonna take my media out and drag it back into the viewer so I see my original clip. I'm gonna add shift space. I'm gonna add a merge node and I'm gonna hold shift and drag this over the line until it turns blue and yellow. Take my magic mask and merge it over top of my original footage. Now I'm gonna grab a text node. I'm also gonna grab a merge node and I'm going to place this over top of my media one, just like so, plug the text in. And now what this is, is my text is pretty much layered between my original footage and then my overlay footage, which is again, if I press two, that also shows the magic mask, that just shows my person. I'm gonna just copy the animation that I did in the intro and I'm gonna make it pretty simple. So I'm gonna type in edits, change my font, increase the size and adjust my layout. For there to be any significant light wrap, I have to make this text glow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a series of glow nodes. This is how you get the best looking glow. So I'm gonna add shift spacebar, type in glow, add it to the page. To start, I'm gonna take my glow size and put it down to 0.5, which is just tiny. It just adds a little bit of a blur. Keep the glow at the same intensity. Then I'm gonna add another glow node, change the size to three, and turn down the intensity a bit. Add another glow node, keep the intensity or the glow size at 10 and turn down the glow a little bit. Add another glow node and usually four gets you to a pretty good spot. Increase the size, but turn down the glow. And for safe measure, I'm actually gonna add one more. Add a glow, increase the size all the way, but turn down the glow, something like so. I still want it legible, but I want this to glow pretty bright. And as you can see, the glow is behind my person, but I want this to leak over just the edges of my mask here. So the way that I'm gonna do that, in empty space, I'm gonna hit shift spacebar, add a matte control. We're gonna plug the magic mask into the matte control. What the matte control is, is it's pretty much just a control center for your mask. So if I press two on my keyboard, I can look at my matte control. Now what we want is we just want an edge pretty much right here, just a border of our person to place the uh, light wrap into. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a blur node. I'm gonna also pipe my magic mask into my blur and then put that into the matte control. With the matte control selected, I'm gonna change the combine mode from none to combine alpha and change the combine operation from copy to subtract. You can see my person disappears because pretty much my main footage is subtracting my other main footage from it. But if I increase this blur size, you can see that we're gonna start to get this ring. And that is literally the exact light wrap that we're looking for. Now let's put our media out back into the viewer. Let's merge our glow or our text back over top of our footage. So now, as you can see, it's it's being multiplied here. It's We have two versions of it over top, but we only want it to show up right here. Now this is getting a little bit messy, so let's move our mask and our mat control, let's move this all underneath so that it is a little bit less messy. All right, and again, with our mat control, which is just this outline, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug that into the mask of this glow that we're overlaying. All right, and now we're getting a glow just on the edge of our person, but we're not getting a very good look. If I push just over to the side, you can see that we're sort of getting it just on the edge. It's a little bit wide. Let's turn down this blur, and that's just gonna turn it, see how it's just bleeding over the side? What we need to do is we need to add another blur node and that's gonna go in between the transform and the overlay. So if we put that right there and then blur it quite a bit, now you can see we're getting this uh, light wrap around the edge of my face. Again, let's just move our edits back and forth. You can see this light wrap that's showing up beside. 
We can play with the merge three, uh, which is the overlay. We can change the blend so we can tone it down a little bit and we're getting a pretty good effect. But a lot of people stop right here with a light wrap, but I think it's missing one essential piece and that is a rim light. Now to add a rim light, it's a very similar process. We're just gonna add one more matte control. We're gonna plug our matte magic mask into the matte control. Then in empty space, I'm gonna add an erode dilate. I'm gonna also plug my magic mask into the erode dilate and plug that into the green element of the matte control. Same thing with matte control. We're gonna change combine to combine alpha, combine operation to subtract. Now we're gonna add another merge node onto our main track, pipe this overlay into that merge node. This is the effect that we're getting and take our matte control and mask that. Now, if we look at our matte control here, you can see nothing shows up, but if I turn down the erosion mount a little bit, you can see we're just getting a rim light now. So it's not soft, it's this harsh light or this harsh edge, sorry. And now if we look back at our footage, now we're getting a beautiful rim light on our character. You can see this halo that's showing up around my ear, even my hairs. It looks like there's a legit rim light around my face. And again, let's just move our element back and forth and it looks like it's actually lighting in a 3D scene. For any type of DaVinci Resolve project, you're going to need music and sound effects. And I've got an exclusive discount to give you guys 70% off your first year of your audio subscription. Now, audio has the best music. They actually turn down a lot of music so that they only have premium artists on their platform. I actually have several clients that continuously ask me, they're like, where do you get this music from? How do I find them on Spotify? That's how good their music is. Audio has saved hours of my time when finding music. They've recently implemented an incredible AI feature that lets you find the perfect song you're looking for. I literally just type out my project and it gives me bangers every single time. They also have an incredible feature called Link Match AI. I can literally go to Spotify, grab a link of my favorite song and drag it into audio and they will find a matching song just like that. I love audio's music and I know you will too and I don't want you to miss out on this deal. $59 for one year of a music subscription is literally unheard of. I've never gotten a deal that good before in my life. Head over to their website right now by using the link in my bio and use code VANBEEK to get you 70% off of your first year. All right, back to the video. We can move it up, we can move it down. Now, sometimes you will have to play with your magic mask because the edges might be a little bit soft. So in this case, my line is pretty good, but to make it a little bit better, I'm just gonna go into my magic mask into the matte page and just crush the threshold in a little bit. And that's just gonna create a little bit of a harder edge uh, for this line to show up on. I don't wanna go too crazy, something like that maybe, like so. Uh, and then I'm gonna turn my erode dilate down. You don't need really a thick edge at all. You just want a little bit of a rim. There we go. We can put it anywhere behind our entire mask. You can see it's adding this nice rim light right on our shoulder and also adding a bit of overlay. Now, this background element can be replaced with anything. So let's just take our text and let's move it off to the side and let's take in this explosion footage I have right here and let's drag it into the background as well as into the blur node. And, and as you can see, as it's coming over top of me, we're getting a rim light right here as well as we're getting some light wrap around my ear. I'm just gonna add a transform node so I can move this a little bit higher so that we get the bright spots right here. And now we can just refine our light wrap a little bit. So with our blur node, we could either increase it or decrease it to add a little bit more wrap, something like that. Uh, we can change the blend uh, so we could decrease it or increase it. And then obviously our rim light, same thing. We can increase or decrease the blend all right, and sometimes you will run into issues with your mat controls and your blurs. You might run into a clipping issue, something like this, where you have this harsh line and the glow just isn't working properly. That always has to do with the mat controls or the blurs. So to change that in your mat control, you just have to change the clipping mode from frame to domain or to none. You just have to play around with it. Sometimes one works, sometimes the other works. I'm not sure why, but changing those modes will fix your issue. So if you wanna make it from scratch, that's how you do it, but my Fusion page is pretty messy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how my free plugin works instead. I'm gonna take literally all of this right here uh, and delete it, because we won't need it anymore. So back to square one, 
there's no light wrap happening at all. I'm gonna hit shift space and add my custom VBF light wrap tool. Now I've tried to label these arrows as simply as possible. So I have a subject input, a light wrap input, as well as a footage input. So this is my main footage. I'm gonna put that into the footage input just like so and I'm gonna put my output into my media out. Then I'm gonna take my magic mask, which is my subject in this case, and I'm gonna plug it into the pink input, and then I'm gonna put my blur into the light wrap input. And now you can see we're getting a light wrap effect instantly. On the left-hand side here, you have a bunch of controls to choose from. So for the rim light and the light wrap, I set it so you can change the apply mode, so you can do screen or multiply or anything so that you can get more realistic lighting. You have the rim light blend, so the strength of the rim light. If we zoom in right here, here's my rim light. So we can change the strength of that. We can also change the thickness of the rim light. So let's increase the thickness with this bottom slider here and then turn down the blend. We can also add some blur to the rim light, just like so if the edge is a bit too harsh. For the light wrap, you have the light wrap blend controls, just like so. You have the light wrap fall off which changes how deep the light wrap is going into. Light wrap gain, which is, is a different way to decrease or increase the intensity of the light wrap. And you can see we're getting a beautiful effect just with one single node. All the controls are there that you would need. You get a nice rim light, you get a nice glow on the side of your head, it's perfect. And you can see a couple extra tools here. This is just for safety measure. None is your best option for all of the clipping modes. But again, just like before, if you have issues with the clipping modes and you have some type of clipping, you can flick between domain, frame, or none to fix your issue. And now this also works for high-end compositing. With this clip right here, I tracked in a UFO into my backyard. So let's just increase the size right here so we can watch it. If you take a look at this, it just flies in, it's hovering there for a second, and then flies off to the side. And it's tracked in, it looks quite good, it looks pretty realistic because of the track, but it's obviously not composited in well at all. The lighting does not match. So inside of Fusion, this is my 3D composite right here, just going on top of my footage. Let's finish the effect by either A, building the light wrap from scratch, or in this case, I'm just gonna use the plugin that I created. I'm gonna hit shift spacebar, add VBF light wrap. I'm gonna plug my footage into the green uh, footage input, plug that into the media out. Now I'm gonna take my subject, which is my 3D element. If I press two, you can see it's just a mask of my 3D element already. And I'm gonna plug that into the pink, which is my subject. And then for the light wrap in this case, the sky is bright blue. So we're gonna use that as the light wrap because we wanna blend it into the scene. So I am gonna add a bit of a blur to it just so that these uh, power lines blur out. So I'm gonna add a blur node, plug our media one in into the blur. So now we're viewing that. We can increase the blur by a ton, just like so. Let's look at our footage again and input this blur into the light wrap, just like so. Now we have a light wrap. Obviously it's a little bit intense right now. So let's turn down the fall off, something like that. Uh, let's maybe turn down the rim light a little bit something like that. And now instantly we have this composited element that has light wrap around it and makes it look like it's further away and inside the sky. Now you're probably wondering how you can get this plugin for free and it is extremely simple. All I'm gonna ask you to do is head over to my Instagram. You can find the link down below in the description. Give me a follow and just send me a message asking for the plugin and I will email you a Google Drive link and send you the plugin absolutely for free. Now to install the plugin, you're just gonna get the file in your downloads. It's gonna look like this VBF underscore light wrap dot setting. It's gonna look a little bit different on a Mac, of course. And then you're gonna go to this path folder that's on the screen right now. And you're just gonna drag the setting file into that macros folder, just like so, copy it in. You're gonna restart Fusion once. And now, just like I was showing you before, if you hit shift space, if you type in VBF, that light wrap effect is gonna show up just like so, and you're ready to use it. And again, all you have to do, go over to Instagram, give me a follow and send me a message. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you again to Audio for sponsoring this video. Till next time.